Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Miller checking in with GST's YQMA. Today I'm gonna go over the negative effects of cortisol and stress on the competition package that you bring to the stage. This is episode number 29. Let's get into it. You'll have to excuse me. I am on the road today. Monday is a very busy day for me and I only have the chance to do this on the road today. So if the audio is a little bit off or a little bit funky or hard to hear, I apologize, but I wanted to get this episode out, and this was the most efficient chance for me to get this done. So I have about 20 minutes on the road, and I feel like that's plenty of time to talk about the negative effects of stress and cortisol on bringing the best body to the stage. So let's get right into the, the information and get things started here. If you don't already know, stress increases the, the, the levels of cortisol the hormone cortisol in the human body. Now stress can be mental, it can be physical, it, it can be both. And in today's world, stress is a, I would say it's an epidemic. There's a lot of distractions that people didn't have a long time ago. And all those distractions make life more stressful. A lot of people just don't know how to manage those distractions. They pile more on their plate than they can handle. And uh, in the gym, a lot of people work too hard too often and so you have that pile up of mental and physical stress going on at the same time it's a it's a killer combination and it increases the levels of cortisol in the human body now cortisol is going to create two major problems for the physique competitor one it increases water retention when when a person is stressed out and their cortisol levels are up, they have this look that is soft. It's not something that um, is that is, is really predictable. Its degree really isn't predictable, but it's certainly real. And it's real because you can tell when a person is stressed. If you see regular progress pictures of this client and they're going through a, a stressful period in their life, what happens is you almost think that they're actually backsliding it in their fat loss progress because what, what they look like is smoother, softer, and less defined. Now what that usually translates to is a gain of fat. But if you know your client and you know their calorie macro intake and you're confident in your approach, you know that they're still either maintaining their amount of body fat or still making body fat losses, but they look worse, and you can attribute that to an increase in cortisol making them look watery and soft, even, even bloated. Now the other problem with increased cortisol hormone levels in the body is that cortisol makes fat loss tougher. Obviously this is a major problem for a competitive uh, stage competitor, because with every division, Fat loss is important. Obviously, the, the, the degree of fat loss is more important for certain divisions like bodybuilding or figure than it is for other divisions like bikini or physique. Um, men's physique, you know, men's physique tends to be just a little bit softer than true bodybuilding. But bikini is definitely the softest division. Uh, but you still, even as a bikini competitor, you need to be focused on fat loss. And you want your fat loss to happen at an efficient optimal rate because you don't want to prep for longer than you have to. Prepping has its downsides when it's uh, when it comes to crucial hormone regulation or optimization and muscle loss. So you, you don't want to contest prep for longer than you need to. So as a competitor in contest prep, you don't want unnecessary water retention, especially on show day and you want fat loss to happen at an ideal rate. Since cortisol is our enemy in those two areas, we need to focus on ways to keep it down. And stress, removing stress from your life, or as much stress from your life as possible, is one of those areas that we can all improve on. Now some of you may not believe the actual physical, visual, tangible effects that cortisol and stress can actually have on the body. You may be thinking that it's negligible or that it's, it's, it's not a real thing, but it actually is. And I'd actually like to point out a case study 
from a client of mine. Her name is actually Harley B. And the reason that I chose Harley for this example is because Harley is a perfect example of somebody that was smoothly running through their contest prep, um, losing fat at a, at a great rate. And all of a sudden, about five weeks out from her show, what happened is she had a very, very stressful time at work. And this lasted for about three to four weeks. So it, it wasn't just a short-term period. It was a period of long-term stress that she wasn't used to. Um, this, this included moving quickly through different time zones. She's a flight attendant, so moving quick, uh, quickly through different time zones, being stuck in hotels out of the house on a frequent basis. Sometimes she was actually living in a, uh, in a tent at one time. So she was definitely um, in, a, in, a, in an environment of very high stress. And it was very unideal compared to what she was doing previous to that time of high stress. And what we actually saw with her body in her progress pictures was a regression in her definition. She was retaining more water visually. She was softer. And you could just tell it and just feel it in her, in her email check-ins that she was stressed out and she was noticing those visual effects as well. And I was too. It's, it's, it's easy to see. If you knew the progress, the visual progress that she had been making from week to week, and all of a sudden, for some reason, that halted and she actually regressed. Um, and then she came clean and let me know that her work was super stressful. Then I was really able to put things together. And the amazing thing is that Harley actually took her peak week completely off of work. So she had no responsibilities on peak week or during peak week except to take care of herself. And this is where that magic really began to happen because with Harley's peak week approach, you might say that her changes that I'm about to show you could be attributed to her changes in, in peak week nutrition. But with Harley's peak week nutrition, I changed um, very, very few factors. Her calories remained within probably 20 calories of where she had been um, throughout the last few weeks of her contest prep. And the only changes that were made were there was a slight reduction in protein and a slight increase in daily carb intake. So if you wanna to try to attribute these changes to peak week nutrition, you really can't do that just, just because there was so few actual real changes. And what, what we can attribute these changes to as she progressed through peak week, and I mean, she noticeably leaned up from day to day, you could see the changes happening. She was getting massages throughout the week, relaxing with movies, um, she was able to sleep in, she was able to stay at her own home in her own bed, eat the foods that she wanted to be eating. And she was, she went from max stress, almost panicked, to calm, chill, just very cool and collected. And as you can see in her pictures, the change is real. And this is the reason that I wanted to, just to use Harley as this valuable case study because She's an awesome illustration of why it's important to stay calm, to plan your life during your contest prep, to be as stress-free as possible, and just make those smart decisions. You know what stresses you out in life, and you know there's ways to improve on, on that and remove those stressors from your life as often and as much as you can. And so I just wanted to make this, this, this talk for you because a lot of people, they just don't understand that they have this hormone that makes fat loss difficult and it causes them to retain water and look worse than they actually could. A lot of people don't, they don't know that this is happening to them and what they do is they end up making poor nutritional choices trying to overcome their um, hindered fat loss and their water retention and that soft watery look and they end up getting too aggressive and they make mistakes towards the end of their contest prep when stress is usually high. So it's a, it's, my message today is just make sure that you try to stay calm, stay as cool and collected as possible for as long as possible during your prep and do 
your best, especially during peak week, to calm your nerves, tell yourself that you've worked hard for a long time, things are gonna be okay on the stage, and you can really bring the best package possible when, when you do that. If you have any questions, any follow-up questions or comments on this topic, you know where to find me. You can text me at 919-671-8585 with, with any quick questions. You can email me at ryan at growthstimulustraining.com. And you can also find me on Facebook or comment directly on this YouTube video. I hope you guys have a great Monday afternoon, Monday night. I hope you learned something today. A lot of people just seriously don't realize that stress is increasing their cortisol and it's causing them all types of problems. So if you're stressed out, which a lot of people are, I really hope you take today's message to heart and especially during your contest prep when fat loss is so important and looking prime on stage is so, is so important, take this message to heart. I appreciate you watching, hopefully you subscribe, and I will talk to you tomorrow for tomorrow's Q&A.